So after 12 years, I've switched from Canon to another camera brand. So you can probably guess what brand I've swapped to. And if you guessed Panasonic, you would be wrong. But if you guessed Sony, you are correct. I've shot on Canon cameras since the beginning. And the first camera I had was the Canon 1000D. It didn't even shoot video, it was literally just stills. And I took some fire photos like these. We've got a cracking colour pop in there. I mean, that, that was never stylish, was it? Let's be honest. But to be fair, I got some decent photos out of that. An 18 to 55mm, you know, the stock lens that came with it. And I also had a 55 to 250mm zoom lens as well, which is pretty good. But obviously I wanted to shoot video as well, so I used to borrow a Canon 1100D to shoot video on. And I shot videos like this. Perfectly good for what I was doing at the time, all well and good. I then upgraded to the 750D and discovered that you could buy more lenses. And that's where I got one of them 50 mils, you know, the nifty 50, the f1.8, and used it for literally everything. Then upgrade to you, this lens, the Sigma 18 to 35 mil f1.8, an absolutely solid lens. And I also upgraded to you, the camera body, an M50 Mark II, mainly for vlogging purposes. But in manual, it's actually a pretty solid camera, especially with the attachment for lenses, like the Sigma lens that wouldn't actually fit on there. But then this year, I fancied a change. I actually used the Sony a7 III last year and absolutely hated it. The menus were hard to use. Like, I just didn't get on with it. The, the screen, the screen pulls out and flips. It don't, not flips. The screen pulls out like a Z or something. Like, you don't flip around like this one does, like any Canon camera, or other than the early doors, Canon cameras did. And that was a feature I really liked to be honest i really used it all the time and i thought well, i can't switch to sony because i can't pull the screen out could have bought a monitor but you know budgets and that but this year is the year of the upgrade so i have gone for the a7 4. it is an absolute monster of a camera i can already hear the question of why don't you get the a7 5 because it costs loads more to be quite honest with you and this is such a step up on what i had that it's quite scary to be quite honest. Basically I got to a position where I was hiring cameras quite a lot and obviously it's cost effective initially or on a one-off. When you're doing it several times you think well, actually is this really cost effective? I might as well just upgrade the camera gear. And with wedding season literally around the corner there is no better time than to upgrade gear. Obviously instead of just buying the body on its own I bought it with this lens which is a 28 to 70 mil. Obviously stock lens does a job not the best lens you could possibly have. But then I thought last year I bought you, the big Sigma lens that cost me about 600 quid. And I thought, I rate that lens, I don't want to lose it just yet. Especially when I'm just upgrading cameras. The last thing to do is go spend a load on lenses as well. And this little nifty thing is a Sigma MC11. It allows me to use Canon fit lenses on a Sony camera. Even better still, because it's a Sigma adapter and predominantly a Sigma lens, it means I can also use the autofocus. If you put a Canon lens on an adapter, you can't use autofocus, but the Sigma lens with a Sigma adapter does. So it meant I could use the Sigma lens and other Canon lenses fairly inexpensively, which cost around 150 pounds. And then I thought, I kind of missed the 50 mil F1.8. And it turns out you can get a 50 mil F1.8 lens for Sony as well. So guess what? That's what's on this currently. And it just so happened that Adam, our wedding photographer from two weeks ago now, had one and was selling it. However, I've had to customize this lens because he didn't have the lens cap for it. So he put like a lens cloth over it to hold it on. But it turns out that a Canon 50 mm lens cap will fit, sort of. So even though I've switched to Sony, I'm still sort of clinging on to Canon. So I've not done loads with it yet. So here's some video I've shot on the Sony so far. This is with the stock lens. So that's that 28 to 70 mil lens. I also shot this in S-Log3. So this is what it looks like in S-Log. Now it's been color graded. Definitely has a learning curve to it. So I wouldn't jump straight into it if you've never done it before, because otherwise you're probably gonna screw your footage up if it's something really important. Shoot on something just to practice with like I did. Way better way you see your time. Photo wise, I used it for a wedding, a weekend just gone, I'll pop a photo up here. But again, before just jumping straight into a wedding, I went out and did a couple of shoots during the week, 
with some people I know and their families. So they've taken some photos home with them, which is in, which is great for them, but also great for me because it meant I got a load of practice in navigating around the camera. But yeah, I'm really happy with it. I'm so happy that I've changed. Like I do miss Canon's menus currently, but I imagine after some use, I'll be able to fly through them, find stuff like the back of my hand. More importantly, that's not the only upgrade I've done. I've also got hold of these, and these are, the, I've also got hold of these, and these are, is this for real? I've also got hold of these, and these are the DJI microphones, and they really are diddy little things. But I'm gonna save reviewing these for the next video because there's actually quite a lot I can say about these. So yeah, main news of today is new camera. And do you know what? I thought I'd never switch to Sony, but here we are. So if any of you got a spare Sony lens cap, you wanna trade for a Canon lens cap, please let me know in the comments and I'll see you next time.